Hello everybody, Ken Faulkner. Uh, more Blade Show video content for you today. Uh, trying to put out maybe some more videos, can't promise anything. I would like to do more, but it get really busy sometimes. Oh man, I got a good story for you today. Uh, it was really one of the most um, interesting things that I picked up. And I mean interesting in a good way and a bad way. That I picked up at Blade Show and have a little story about getting this guy home. Um, BRS is the hat that I got from them. I was uh, at the Blade Show uh, Sunday. Things were winding down. People were, it was much less crowded that day. And uh, some of the vendors there were really looking to unload some of the stuff that they brought. They didn't want to haul it, pack it all up, haul it home. And I had heard about this, um, cause this is my first year in Atlanta that in that third day, they really, uh, you can get some good deals. Okay. But, uh, on uh, Friday bought knives Saturday, bought more knives. And by Sunday, I was kind of at that point where I'm saying, you know, I really spent more than I was planning to spend while I was there. Um, I had met so many great people, but uh, Sunday was really just a less of a of a meeting of uh, you know people that I knew through YouTube and and other things online, and more about just trying to go around that whole show and find some places that I haven't seen before, or maybe I walked by them over and over again, but just hadn't stopped and looked at their stuff. And uh, BRS uh, Blade Runner Systems. I never really had experience with their knives. I never bought anything from them before. And I stopped to take a look because they had um, these vault. Hang on a second. Let me go grab it. They have these vault. Um, I don't know. It was, it was at the near the same booth. I don't know if they're affiliated, but they. But I, I saw these first. These vault cases. And I've always liked these. And boy, they had a great price. They were discounted, but they were already a great price. And so I was talking with the guy for quite a while about these and ended up buying that one. I think I got it for like $30. It's just unbelievable because it's such a quality uh, case. Maybe I'll go into that more in another video. And then um, I noticed they got some more stuff on the other side uh, of that booth, the little area that they had. And BRS knives. And I, and I was looking at stuff and this one knife caught my eye. And I didn't even see this case yet. Look at that case. Is that awesome? I mean, I've seen good cases. Uh, Devo Knives has the really premium cases. Uh, but this is like a little bit even a, a step above that. It's not quite that Pelican case type thing. But man, that's nice. But anyway, the knife inside is the one, what I'm talking about. It's, it's what I saw first. I wanted to see that presentation. And this is the one, and uh, you may have seen it on either on Instagram or on uh, my video where I showed all the knives that I bought. And this guy was the one that almost got away in more than one way because that last day I already decided I wasn't going to buy any more knives. But I started looking at this thing and all the different features about it. Um, the green, I really like the green. This is all titanium so the handles are really cool look at that that uh, steel insert they have for the lock for the frame lock is that cool I don't know if it's focusing well that's a really unusual kind of design and I think that was really nice this little uh, tab here I've seen it uh, on a couple of knives but I kind of like that whole thing and just the design that the lines of it. Now, I didn't know who had made this knife at that time, but the guy there told me this is an Elijah Isham design. And I'm not as familiar as some. Uh, my good friend, uh, Freedom Frog Gear, Freedom Frog, he is a big fan. So he was the first one I contacted once I got this. I knew he was going to know uh, a little bit about this knife. Another thing that was cool, and another first for me is that this one is an integral or integral. I hear it both ways. I'm the kind of guy that doesn't matter how you pronounce it as long as everybody knows what you're talking about. But uh, 
integral or integral frame design. So it's all one piece of titanium. No screws except for the pivot and the one that holds on the pocket clip, which is a very cool milled titanium pocket clip. So that's another thing that was just a winner for me. It's got M390 steel. It's got a cool blade. And I really should have known just looking at it. If you're familiar with Elijah Isham, you can see his design, um, you know, type in this knife. There's a couple others that have this kind of blade shape. The handle is kind of a giveaway. It's got that cool. And I've always heard that when you hold this thing in your hand, it's more ergonomic than it looks otherwise. And I think part of that is, is this deep cut here. You get your, your, your first finger in there, but then the second finger kind of locks in too. And that really gets it even tighter in your hand than just a regular finger choil. It's really just locked in well. No hot spots. Really well designed. Really well thought out. And beautiful. The blade shape on this. A little more fancy than my usual knife. I'm, I'm a little bit more plain on my my blade types in general but this one really cool the way that the back looks with that where it's here and it comes up to the swedge and the just the whole line of that the steel on the back of the blade is very cool got a nice drop to that front i love that spear pointish drop pointish type look no jumping on top but it's not a big deal it's got these uh kind of chevrons on the back of the handle not, not really something you feel I mean if you're holding it here you might get something on that but it's just a kind of cool little artistic thing so anyway I love this knife it's it's really good and I wasn't gonna buy it but I asked the guy how much it was he told me it was $150 $150 for this knife titanium integral I don't think I've ever seen an integral titanium handled knife for $150. And so I'm I'm immediately interested. And I'm looking over my girlfriend and she's kind of looking at me like, oh boy, here he goes again. But she couldn't say anything because that was like that's a sweet, sweet deal, let me tell you. And Blade Show is a you know not a daily occurrence, so I kind of splurge a little bit. This is a very, very cool knife. So this one is called the BRS Evolve Eon. And I didn't even know the name of it, but they they said it. Oh yeah, it's the Eon. So I'm I'm texting with uh with uh Freedom Frog and I'm going, hey, look at this knife. And he immediately knew that it was Elisha Isham, but he wasn't sure just immediately what, what it was. And he think and he says, maybe I think that's the the Evolve Eon. And then I go on the, my phone, I look at the pictures on on the site. Looking at the knife, and go, yep, that's it. Evolve Eon from BRS. Now it makes sense. And it's an awesome knife. So, got to get into the rest of the story. So, $50. Then they get out, they go looking at it. I guess they're looking in the book, see uh, the prices. So, oh, wait a minute, it's actually uh, 165 I'm going, 165 That's a, still a steal at that price. I said, I take it. I want it. I gotta have that knife. They go looking for a box with the knife in it. They don't have any, nothing there. This one was the one that was on the table. It was like the little demo version of it. I guess they sold every other version of it that they had. This is the last one they had. And uh, this is actually no longer, at least from what I hear, no longer uh, in production. So it's kind of hard to get these knives. Anyway, it's the last one. They said the guy said, "Hey, give him another twenty dollars off." So now here we here I am, not one fifty, one forty five, and I am just beside myself. And I see that sweet case it comes in, and then the guy says, "Hey, I'll give you this hat for free." So it throws that into the deal. I mean, it was just excellent experience. Now on to the bad side of it. The bad side happened because. Things got a little crazy towards the end of my trip, and we uh, we were packing up. If you'd seen the one where I have all the swag, all the all the 
stickers and things and I had hats I had all kinds of free stuff that I'd gotten all the knives I've gotten and I'm trying to stuff this stuff in my suitcase and I've had a hell of a time packing that stuff up and we had to get to the airport it took longer to get to the airport than I thought and uh, so anyway I was rushed but we got to the airport we were late we got checked in we're moving through the airport get to security and here's where things go south they had already uh, had a guy before me apparently there's a lot of people coming out of the blade show and they are finding stuff in their bags and they're checking my girlfriend's bag usually one that gets checked i don't know why I mean, she has stuff in there that they always want to check but we never had a problem and then they put my bag to the side and they're digging through that thing and i have just stuff from the show in there and all that i thought for sure there was nothing in there to find he goes the the tsa guy he goes and pulls this out of my backpack my carry-on and my heart sunk i'm telling you i have never felt so low in a, in a long time in my life how much of a find this one was and how excited I was about it and I'm late to my plane and I'm seeing this come out of my backpack with the knife in it and uh, I'm just going oh my gosh is this going to be one of those ones that TSA grabs and um, goes into a box of things that sells it to somebody or maybe some TSA agent is going to score this thing and take it home with them and my girlfriend is uh, amazing already and then she just proved how amazing she was she looked at me she says that's not happening and the tsa guy i guess he i mean these guys are processing people all day long but i guess he recognized just how distraught i was over this whole thing and he said i can get you over to get this thing checked in and i said we're, we're running late i don't know if this is going to happen my girlfriend said we're, we're doing it no matter what happens so she goes with him. Now, the reason why she went instead of me is that she's uh, one of these people that can go to the front of the line because it's disabled. She can get a wheelchair um, if, if needed. She can usually walk around, but it's it's something that she does have a, a disability. And so that was the way it was going to work. She went with him. I went to the gate trying to get things lined up there, ready to go. Already talking to the people at the gate saying, hey, what happens if we don't get on this flight? What do we do? I've never actually missed a flight like that. And we're talking to her and the person there. And, and she's like, all, oh, oh, my gosh, really? Well, uh, you better get on that flight. I know you're going to miss that early boarding. We were on Southwest and it's like the you get first come, first serve. And so you're not going to get that early boarding, but maybe you get on the flight. You guys have to sit, you know, different seats, not next to each other or whatever. So anyway, uh, my girlfriend shows up way earlier than I thought. And then she tells me the story. This TSA guy had found, he had some back way to get over to get the bag checked. He took her that way much faster, brought her back, made sure that she got to the front of the line. This guy was my hero. Say what you will about TSA, and maybe it's true in some cases, but there's still good, good people doing that stuff. And this guy was my guardian angel that day. She got there. She got to the gate just before the early boarding. We got on that flight. I didn't have my backpack with me, but it was checked in. And then the whole time on the flight, I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, I'm not going to get this. You know, this bag's going to get lost. It's going to get it's not going to make uh, make the flight. But actually, when we were getting ready to fly, they uh, delayed a little bit because of they were waiting for some baggage to load up. And I was wondering, is that my knife in the, my backpack that's holding everything up? And uh, is that the reason why? But anyway, long story short, it, no, actually long because it's a long story, but uh, you know how I am. I get there to the airport, bags come down, got both big suitcases, and my backpack comes down. And man, I just bre breathed a sigh of relief and I got a great story out of the whole thing and everything turned out wonderful. So there's my story. It was crazy. I almost had a heart attack. I was hyperventilating. But in the end of the day, 
It all turned out great, and I have this awesome knife. So if you actually listened to this whole story, I hope you uh, enjoyed it. And um, I know I enjoyed it now that it's over with. Um, and I'll be making some more videos on other Blade Show uh, pickups that I've got. Got some other stories. It's probably the most exciting one. But uh, I will see you next time. You guys have a good rest of your day and rest of the week. See ya. Bye.